Hello, this is a tutorial on facial expressions. Each facial expression is composed of different muscles. In fact, they are also called action units, and each action unit can be used in different expressions. So that gives us a graph where each emotion is related to other emotions. Here's the graph. There are eight emotions. Happiness opposed to disgust, surprise to pain, fear to anger, sadness to contempt. You can see numbers which are action units, muscles of the face. For example, happiness is composed of number 12, which is shared with contempt. It means that when you seem to smile, it can be happiness or it can be contempt. There is also number 26, which is the mouth opened. It can also be when you're surprised, not necessarily very happy, or when you fear something. It can be surprising that happiness share number 6 with pain, but number 6 is a quite subtle facial expression that is when the cheeks go up and that you got wrinkles around the eyes. Number 12 is when the corners of the lips are pulled. Like that. Number 26 is when the mouth is opened. It's also when you're surprised. Number 6 is difficult to do voluntarily, so it can be used to distinguish between a real smile and a fake smile. Because of course, when you meet someone in the street, you will do a fake smile, generally. You, it's easy to, to pull the, your cheeks like that. But, in fact, you're not really happy when you meet everyone in the street, it's not possible. You see, now I, I'm really having a, a real smile. You can see that my eyes got a little bit smaller and uh, there was a contraction around the eyes. Because it's fun to imagine that uh, you're happy to meet everyone. Now you can see that to distinguish contempt with happiness, you have to see that, that there is no number six, so the, the real smile. But of course, uh, when you do a fake smile, there is no number six. And also, uh, it's more rare that you've got 26, the mouth opened. But again, you can do a fake smile with the mouth closed and with no wrinkles around the eyes. It does not mean contempt. To see contempt, you have to see number 14, which is kind of an inner smile. Number 14 is a contraction of the cheek. For example, like that. It must be there for contempt. So contempt is number 12, but also number 14. So that gives something like... And also contempt is generally not symmetric. So it is more like just on one side. You know. Now surprise. Surprise is number 26 and also number 2. Number 26, so opening the mouth, and number 2, raising the eyebrows. Surprise, so looks like opening the mouth, 26, and also uh, raising the eyebrows. That's number 2. Note that in uh, facts terminology, it's number one and number two, because number one goes along. But when you use it alone, just number one, it's sadness. So I did not mention it here in order not to get you confused. So just think number two is raising normally the eyebrows. And so in surprise, you have 26. And number two and also a slight opening of the upper lid. So it's... It's not fear. We'll see the difference with fear. Surprise share number 2 and number 26 with fear and to some extent number 5, opening the upper lid. 
but fear is really opening the upper lid completely and also it has number four which it shares with sadness and number 20 which is specific to fear it's stretching the mouth horizontally so fear you add number 20 and number four so let's see number 20 it's stretching the mouth horizontally uh, not smiling not sad but horizontally so when you open the mouth and stretch it's like that and also you've got number four number four it's when you lower the eyebrows not that it can mean many things but it's generally that you're not satisfied number four is with fear it's with anger it's with sadness pain and not with disgust but uh, you do something to your nose that also uh, lowers the eyebrows in some way so generally number four it's that you're not really happy but it's also there when you're concentrating when you're concentrating in fact you're you're ready to react so you make i think that you make yourself closer to those negative emotions that are reactions because when you are satisfied you do not react you're oh it's cool uh, so concentration is also number four now sadness sadness has number one without number two which means raising the eyebrows in the center of course it shares four with fear which is lowering the eyebrows at the same time and number 15 with disgust number 15 is lowering the corner of the lips so it can mean both sadness and disgust when you've got the corner of the lips that are lowered okay so the central feature of sadness is raising the middle of the eyebrows so that's number one and it also goes with number four which is lowering the eyebrows so it's it's a bit of a tension in uh, in here also there is number 15 lowering the lips but this can also mean disgust so it's hard to tell what's uh, what's important is uh, what goes here so the whole uh, facial expression is note that just doing this expression makes you feel sad so don't do it too much okay now we are talking about really ugly faces which are anger pain and disgust disgust has number 16 which is lowering the lower lip which is not used in the other expressions on this graph it shows number 15 with sadness so lowering the lips so at the same time you lower the corner of the lips and you open the lower lip there is number nine or ten which is with the nose or with the upper lip the wrinkles that are so recognizable so now let's do some ugly faces so the difference between nine and ten it's nine it's just the nose that you wrinkle and ten it's the upper lip so it's <laughs> both both are ugly and are used in disgust and pain with this cut the, there is the number 15 that goes with sadness and also opening the mouth so disgust is in anger and pain there is number four and number seven number four is lowering the eyebrows so that you're not satisfied and number seven is a uh, tightening of the lid so in pain you've got nine and ten the nose wrinkle 
but also 4 and 7. There is also number 6, which uh, creates wrinkles around the eyes, that you can get also when you are happy, but uh, with a very different context. Uh, all, all other elements are very different. To do a pain face, you have to wrinkle the nose, and also lower the eyebrows and also tighten the lid which is just you know like that so it's nose there is also number six which comes along naturally you must have seen some wrinkles around the eyes so that's it for pain. Finally, anger has 4 and 7 in common with pain, which are lowering the eyebrows and tightening the lid. It has number 5, like in fear, when you open the lid to see everything you can see. And it has number 23, which is specific to anger, which is pressing the lips together. So it shares 4 and 7 with pain, which uh, is 4 and 7 tightening the eyes. It also has 5 like in fear, opening the lid, and also 23, which is pressing the lips. So together it is 4, 7, opening the lid, Okay. I've put the emotions around the circle, but there is no direct connection between anger and contempt. So, in some way, the circle is broken here. I hope I did not frighten you with my angry face. If you're interested in action units, you know the numbers. There is the complete list on the internet. It's called FACS, F-A-C-S and you can try to move it and see how it feels.